What? Wow, <laughs> this is this is a genius. <laughs> What was that? Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. And today I'm reacting to the School of Rock. And real quick, before we get into the reaction, I do want to announce I am doing an official launch of my merch. I'm very, very excited about it. The link to my new website is in the description down below. And it's not just your regular, ordinary YouTuber merch with like a logo or anything like that. It's going to be funny shirts. I designed them myself. My girlfriend and I, there's over 12 designs. Put a lot of work into it, trying to do some funny, interesting, crazy things. You've probably seen a couple of them randomly across a few of the videos, but there is a limited time, 20% sale off all the items just this weekend. So this is the last day you can get that. Please head down below if you want to check out any of those items. And even if you don't want to buy anything, you have no interest at all, I'd love to hear any feedback. Is there any designs that you thought were good? If you thought they were all terrible, if you liked the look of the website, if you thought it was horrible, any and all constructive criticism, feedback is greatly appreciated. So if you're interested, the link is in the description down below. So I know this movie is starring Jack Black. I know the basic premise of this movie, right? He's this failed rock band leader or something like that. He goes to a high school and starts teaching the kids rock and roll, and then they perform to compete. Something along those lines of that storyline, but I'm excited to watch this because I've been recommending this movie for a very long time. And Jack Black, I mean, how can you not love the guy? I know the guy can sing. I've seen some YouTube videos of his that are actually really funny. So just looking forward mainly because of Jack Black. And like I said, I've heard nothing but good things about this film. So I'm excited to check it out. As always, if you want to watch along the full unedited reaction, that is up on Patreon as long with next week's classic 90s comedy movie. Might be Clueless. I know I'm going to be watching that very soon but if you want to check that out all up on patreon thank you to everyone who supports there and of course feel free to leave suggestions for 90s early 2000s comedy movies i do about one per week here on the channel in case you want to subscribe and see more of those for now let's get into today's reaction school of rock is it school or the school i don't know is there a the is it the school of rock or just school of rock <laughs> The soundtrack to this movie is probably going to be really cool, but unfortunately I'm going to have to mute almost all of it for copyright, but heck. Oh, I like that. I like that. Stylish. How do I know Richard Linklater? I know I know that name as a director. Oh man, cool title card for the movie. Very cool. Sarah Silverman is in this movie? Wow, okay, that'll be interesting. Oh, there he is, there he is, the legend himself. Honestly, a pretty cool rock song, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, you got full Burt Kreischer over here, bro. Dang! Oh, wow, oh. Oh, that must have hurt. Nobody caught me. That was lame. That was lame. But also, it's pretty unexpected. <laughs> Lazy freeloader, and it's time for all this dysfunction to stop. Why don't we just do this later? I mean, you know how he gets in the morning. Yeah, let him have his coffee first. Tired of letting people push you around? Yes. And get in there and do it. What, a victim? It's the first of the month, and uh, I would like your share of the rent now. Oh man, you know I don't have it. You wake me up for that? <laughs> <laughs> you owe me a lot of money as it is. $2,200. That's a good amount of money. The band is about to hit it big time. Are they? I will throw you and your dog a bone. Good night. Oh. You and your dog. I am an assistant to the mayor of the city. Ned has the most important job there is. What's that? Temping? A substitute teacher is not a temp. It wouldn't last one day. I'm out there on the front lines liberating people with my music. True. He doesn't come up with the rent by the end of the week. He's out. Maybe you should sell one of your guitars or something. What? Would you tell Picasso <laughs> to sell his guitars? <laughs> Picasso's guitars? <laughs> been mooching off you for years never been a problem until she showed up just dump her man uh she's gonna dump me she's fed up that would be a good thing she's a nightmare uh i may never have another girlfriend i mean just come on come up with some money please please he's such a polite friend man not for her, man. For you. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's fine. You don't have to do it for the girlfriend. Just pay your share. It's only fair. I'm taking the Battle of the Band seriously this year. Good, because I need the money. You're fired. And your lyrics. Now, don't take this the wrong way. Did you hear what he said? But I've been sitting on some awesome material. No, 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 dude. Did you hear what I said? You're out. This is my band. I brought us together. I wanted you out, man. There's nothing I could do. Oh, shut up, man. Oh, dang. You can't kick him out. What is he started the band? You're a good guitar player. It's the 20 minute solos, stage dives. <laughs> the stage dive was awesome. You're an embarrassment. Read between the lines, Theo. <laughs> between the lines! Is that how you keep the rating for this movie down? Between us, like, I care about you, man. Oh, don't give me this. Focus so hard on making it. Forgot about one little thing. It's called the music. You're gonna be a funny little footnote on my epic ass. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for you guys. It's funny, but honestly sad at the same time. It's a nice balance of both. Yeah, it's a 1968 Gibson SG, mint condition. Is it mint condition? Well, that's a mistake. No, Hendrix played this guitar. Yep. <laughs> Mr. Schneebly? Nah, he's not here. We pay our substitutes $6.50 a week. Now, do you know when Mr. Schneebly... <laughs> he's just coming in right now. Ned, phone! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty realistic sound effects. <laughs> Hello, this is Snitch. <laughs> and just like that, you get the job. I mean, do you need identification? I don't know. So thank you so much. So how's this going to work? Are you going to pay me up front? <laughs> It'd be really great if I could get he wants paid cash, now cash right now. Yeah, they cash literally. You'd cut my check, just make it payable to Dewey Finn. Okay, when's the end of the day? And school lets out at three. Uh oh, you know what? What? I think I could cut out a little early today. I got some stuff I gotta do. What stuff? It's cool. I can stay. <laughs> <laughs> the best elementary school in the state. Hearing to a strict code of conduct. It gets out of line. I got no problem smacking him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Verbal abuse? <laughs> Are they going to be spoiled or well behaved? Everyone, I'd like to introduce. I say well behaved. Schneebly? Would you write your name on the board? Yes. Yes, I will. Do you know how to spell it? I don't. Mr. Schneebly? <laughs> With a, <laughs> what was that? Dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and do you have any questions? Yeah, when's lunch? <laughs> Children just had their lunch. Anything else you need? I'm a teacher. All I need are minds for molding. Oh. <laughs> what an answer. Oh my gosh, he's great. Okay, let's see what this is gonna be like. Okay, who's got food in here? <laughs> Not gonna get in, travel. I'm hungry. You. What do you got? Something good. A good snack, please. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I mean, there's a bite out of that sandwich. She doesn't care. Here's the deal. I've got a hangover. <laughs> Who knows what that means? Honesty is the best policy. Drunk? No. Drunk yesterday. Yeah, it means get it you're right. you're an alcoholic. <laughs> Wrong. Dude, you got a disease. What's your name? Freddie Jones. Mm, Freddie Jones. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can just chill today. Start on this crap pola tomorrow. Nice. Do you have any questions about her schedule? Usually now Miss Dunham teaches vocabulary, then gives us a pop quiz. There's always one of those students in the class, always, right? Dumb bum ain't your teacher today? I am. And I got a headache and the runs. <laughs> Say, time for recess. <laughs> that poster charts everyone's performance. Gold stars when we master the material. What are these black dots here? The merits. What kind of a sick school is this? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> 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 Best teacher, teacher of the year. Come on. There will be no grades or demerits. We're gonna have recess all the time. Woo! <laughs> You're not hearing me, girl. I'm in charge now. I say recess. Play and have fun now. <laughs> Mandatory fun. Make it happen. Let's go. Now, you don't want me to have to call your parents, do you? All right, Emily, don't cry. Just try to be a bit more conscientious. Oh, poor girl. Would you like a hug? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Be good, I swear. <laughs> He's just like one of the students waiting for that time. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Come on. Give me some. <laughs> I will see you cats on the flip flop later. <laughs> because 
very highly recommended. <laughs> Too late, he's off the clock. Talk to him tomorrow. Haters. Dang, that's rough. Yes, you can be in my band. No power plays, man. Got vision up the butt, so just go with it. Can they even play instruments? You're not a teacher, Ned. That's the real you! I'm not a satanic sex god anymore. <laughs> anymore, but back in the day. She's got you brainwashed, man. Can you see that I'm working? Don't you miss rocking out? Anyone in their right mind is gonna wanna be in a band with you. You're more delusional than I thought. Oh, come on. He's talented. Um, maybe it's time to give up those dreams. Don't give up on your dreams. Things are going really great for me. I mean, not the route I would choose, personally. Are you gonna teach us anything, or are we just gonna sit here? Just do whatever you want. <laughs> I want to learn from my teacher. Besides that, what do you like to do? Burn stuff? <laughs> it's like Phoebe's brother. My parents don't spend $15 thousand dollars a year for recess that's expensive recreation you want me to teach you something there's a useful lesson for you give up <laughs> in the end you're just gonna lose big time because the world is run by the man who the, the man come on oh well, he's everywhere in the white house down the hall miss mullins she's the man <laughs> Ruin the ozone, burning down the Amazon, kidnap Shamu and put her in a chlorine tank. Stick it to the man. Look, look, some of the kids are horrified. Oh no. Man, ruin that too with a little thing called MTV. Was rock and roll ruined by MTV? I don't know enough about music to know. Pure or awesome, because the man's just gonna call you a fat, washed up loser. So do yourselves a favor and oh, no, just no, 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 no. Oh no, no. Bad timing too. Demotivational speech. Mr. Schneebly, it's after 10. Music class now. We will continue with our lecture on the man. At least she didn't catch him sleeping. That would have been worse. <laughs> this is where that is that where he got the epiphany standing in front of the urinal. <laughs> How proper. I only want this class if J.K. Simmons is teaching. Well, that kid's good, right? Introduce them to some real music. Hopefully no one steals your equipment. Mr. S, what's going on? It's round two of music class. How are they not gonna get heard though? You guys can really play. Why didn't anyone tell me? Play the guitar? Yeah. Okay, come here. Play the electric guitar? Dad won't let me. Seems it's a waste of time. A waste of... <laughs> Luck along with me, okay? If you can. It's a fast learner. <laughs> Loosen up a little. You can see how the, the music just gives him so much life, man, you know? Piano man, front and center. What's your you name? Do a little Elton John? What are you gonna do? No, I only play piano. Come on, come on, come on now! <laughs> Lawrence is good at piano. <laughs> Stop! That's perfect. Cello. Bass guitar, and it's the exact same thing. Side, cello, you've got a bass. Are they that similar, honestly? <laughs> are there any drummers in the house? No drummers, huh? I play percussion. Just see if you can do what I do. I mean, playing drums is not easy, right? Okay! <laughs> not too loud. Give me a G note. With the fifth above it and the, the middle one. <laughs> the middle one. <laughs> now give me some rhythm. Remember that note I taught you, the G? Okay, keep it rocking good. Okay, give me This is legit like getting me hyped. It's like inspiring, low key. Bad, that's like George of the Jungle. <laughs> The symbol, but really light. Oh, that's it. Okay, keep. Yes. Yes. Now oh, we're getting the sound coming together. <laughs> Come on, this is a great session. Pay attention because I do not want to have to fail you. <laughs> you didn't believe in grades. Things have changed. Of course, I believe in grades. I was testing you. Passed. Good work, Summer. <laughs> Normal kids would have been stoked to slack off, but not you guys, because you're not normal. You're special. Overachievers. And we started our new class project. Rock band. Is this a school project? Yes. And it's a requirement. It will test your head and your mind. Brain, too. <laughs> Schools be competing? You could say that. <laughs> Every school in the state will be competing for the top prize. What's the prize? Money, money. On your permanent record, hello, Harvard, yo. <laughs> 
What do you do with his eyes like that? I think we should get a leg up on the competition. Who else wants to go for the gold? I do. Let's go. Tapping into their competitive sides. So let's just keep it on the down low. Can we tell our parents? No. No! <laughs> let's kick it into overdrive. What are the rest of us supposed to do? Marketing. I can enjoy the magic of rock! Or that. You mean we're not in a band? Just because you're not in the band, you're not in the band. Oh good, it's including them. You, sing. The sun will come out. Yes. Tomorrow. Stop. You've got it. And I don't even know what it is, but you've got it. <laughs> Band, you, sing. <laughs> Stop. I start crying because I've found the missing ingredient. You're in the... <laughs> All right, Summer, belt it. Emery, all alone in the... <laughs> Stop. 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 Okay. What a choice. All right. <laughs> we get back from lunch, I'll assign the rest of you killer position. Are they gonna talk though? Can the kids keep a secret? That's r that's hard at that age. What is he thinking about? Mr. Snibley? Yeah? Hey, what's up? I don't think I should be in the band. Why not? I'm not cool enough. People in bands are cool. Oh, don't give me that. You're cool. You're cool. The way you play. Nobody ever talks to me. Probably a sad sack on the planet, but if you're in a rockin' band, the cat's pajamas, man. Hmm. You're gonna be the most popular guy in school, trust me. Big commitment now. You don't just say yes if you're gonna flake out. I won't. Welcome to my world. <laughs> okay. Boom, a couple of these. Okay. Now give me a platform. Let's rock. Let's rock. <laughs> That's legit. Slap it, shoot it, kaboot it. Gonna work on that some more later. It's a very long shake. Get going. <laughs> Back attack. Take a seat. On base. Hush spice. <laughs> Mr. Cool. There we go. The future of the band depends on you. Your first mission, soundproofing this room. How? How are you gonna do that, man? That's not easy to soundproof a room. And operation of this technology. Without a first-rate roadie crew, we'll never have a psychedelic show. True. I'm counting on you. Get going. You three. What are they gonna do? Groupies. <laughs> and your job is some <laughs> Just worship the band. <laughs> All kinds of merchandise, which leads me to your first assignment. Naming the band that's an important job plus merch design and stuff that's huge for the profits of the band singing lead vocal and shredding guitar isn't this a student project no oh the what music stopped the music stopped what you want to get rid of me why because i'm old but i say go so put your hands over your heart i pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance. to the band <laughs> Of Mr. Schneebly. <laughs> you just started your own cult, bro. We will not fight him. For creative control. <laughs> Defer to him on all issues related to the musical direction of the band. <laughs> Let's get rocking! Yeah! Yeah! Oh no. What does she want? Me to be a groupie? I research groupies on the internet. They're sluts. They sleep with a band. <laughs> like cheerleaders my mother's not going to be happy when she hears about this they didn't want to make him jealous but i made a special position and manager this is very smart this is very smart to give her this position to make sure everyone is doing their job you're in charge of everything okay <laughs> you needed to win her over for this whole operation to work a hundred percent before we start shouldn't i first take attendance okay fine <laughs> he reluctantly agrees michelle here summer here mika okay we're all here <laughs> Is talk about your influences. Tina Aguilera. Who? No. Come on. <laughs> Puff Daddy. Wrong. Billy. <laughs> Wrong. What are you, you guys? I'm talking about bands that rock. Led Zeppelin. They haven't been exposed. <laughs> Total play. I mean, I know a few Led Zeppelin songs. Ring any bells. What about Sabbath? ACDC. <laughs> Total flags. Oh, what are they teaching this place? Summer, you're the class whatever. Go to the board. <laughs> the class whatever. New schedule. 8.15 to 10. Rock history. Oh, look. They're learning like a college course at this point now. Appreciation and theory. Practice till the end of the day. What about math? Skip math and math Both not cultures? important. Not important. <laughs> Question. How are we being great? You grade grub one more time, I will send you back to the first grade. You got it? Back to your seat. <laughs> what are we gonna play? We have awesome material, which I wrote. Let's hear it. Will they like his material? Let's hear your song. Oh, this is a big moment. I'll play you my song, if you wanna hear it. 
Yeah, play it. I just want you to keep in mind, I wrote it in like 15 minutes. And uh, it's so, not done yet. Might not just like... play a song, Schneebly. <laughs> Get in the zone. I was not planning on unveiling it, but... <laughs> Oh, come on, do a good performance, please. A dark stage, beam of light, and you can see me. There was a man who knew the road to understand. Come in with the bass. <laughs> Fine, without me, but you're mine. Come in with a face melter. <laughs> Well, it's just one problem there, and it's mine! <laughs> it's like a revenge Taylor Swift hit or something. Mean! <laughs> Shh, Hawaii Five-0, you ever see that show? No. Unless you live hard, unless you live hardcore! That's all I got so far, it's a work in progress. I thought it was really catchy. I mean, I like how he has the vision of even what's going on on stage and everything, you know? The bumblebees? No, it's sissy. The koala bears? No! No, not that. Hey, Miss Mullins, hello. How's it going? <laughs> What is that? Hello. Chill. It's a science project. Never mind. Let's <laughs> organizing a field trip for the kids. Substitutes as a rule do not. Well, we're breaking the rules, okay? The kids could learn by getting out of the classroom. Safety issues, parents. Yeah, the parents are going to make it so complicated. I have a lot of ideas. Mm -hmm. With beads and sequins. Billy, and Billy, can't you see I'm talking to Principal Mullins? I'll make up some samples. <laughs> Ed Schneebly, he's covering for Gail. Do you care to join us, Mr. Schneebly? No, I don't want to. Did I say that correctly? Schneebly? Actually, it's Schneebly. <laughs> Schneebly? <laughs> I say no testing, and I will tell you why, Joe. Gabe. Gabe. <laughs> children are the future. You have got to let them lead the way. Let the children's laughter remind us how we used to be. <laughs> is it so smart, is it? Isn't that a song? Oh, wait, that is? I don't think so. No? Mm -mm. What song? People would be Googling this if they had iPhones. I want to see the behind the scenes of how they soundproof the room. Let's be real. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> What's up with the stiffness, man? Robotronic. Loosey goosey, baby. Loosey goosey. <laughs> I'm just playing it the way you told me. It's perfect. Thing is, rock is about the passion, man. Exactly. It's an ancient technique. It's called power stance. Just go. <laughs> yeah, now raise your goblet of rock. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your eyeballs wide like there's something wrong. Yeah! <laughs> Coming together, coming together. Now we're rocking! Your homework is to listen to some real music, get inspired. Oh, this is some great homework, man. Yes, that's the name of the band. Listen to the keyboard solo. I don't think I've heard any of their music. We're gonna be goofing off like this every day? Uh, we're not goofing yeah, off. Yeah, we're not goofing off, bro. Are we gonna be creating musical fusion every day? Yes. Get used to it. <laughs> oh, he's excited, okay. Are you psyched about the new project? Sure. Sure. Hey, wait, what's up, What's man? wrong? Yeah. You're the lead guitarist of an unbelievable rock band. Okay. Maybe he doesn't like it. Heck. Hey, Tamika, what's up? I want to be a singer. Okay, sing me something. Get easy, but... Oh, my goodness. Nice pipes, Tamika. <laughs> Your hand when I was looking for singers. You're just shy, maybe, right? You're in. Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, listen to the vocal solo. After you finish your chores, and not until then. Fact, do not walk away from me. Oh dang, maybe he has a hard home life, you know? Maybe that's why he's not so thrilled. No more rock music, okay? Okay. Rock ain't about doing things perfect. Who can tell me what it's really about? Passion. Soul. Scoring chicks? No. no. Getting wasted. <laughs> no. Come on, no. Sticking it to the man? Yes! I mean, yes. You gotta feel it in your blood and guts! You gotta get mad at the man! And right now, I'm the man. Who's got the guts to tell me off? Who's gonna tell me off? Shut the hell up, Schneebly! <laughs> That's it, Freddy. Way to go. Just don't take this lesson to the principal, please. Get out please. of here, stupid ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You're the worst teacher I've ever had. Summer, that is great. It's like a cathartic roast battle or something, you know? You're a fat loser and you have body odor. <laughs> All right. Now is everyone nice and pissed that off? That's the best one, I think. Time to write a rock song. Makes you mad more than anything in the world. Billy. You. <laughs> Billy, we've already told me off. Let's move on. Tacky and I hate you. Okay, you see me after class. <laughs> <laughs> what else makes you mad, Michelle? Chores. 
Yeah, chores suck as a kid. Hey, so I am really ticked off. <laughs> Bullies get out of my way, cause I am really ticked off. <laughs> what would you say to a bully who's pushing you around, telling you what to do? Step off. Step off! <laughs> Step off! Step off! He's actually really good. This is really, I mean, it's funny in the movie, but that's a really good teaching method to like bring it to their level and really connect emotionally to them. <laughs> Rock song. That was. That was good. <laughs> Don't laugh too loudly. And I nailed the audition. I didn't get it. Guess who did? Though your ma's cousin, little nepotism. Nepotism. It's real. It's real. Those that can't do, teach. <laughs> can't teach, teach Jim. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zach. Just wanted to say, that was a really cool lesson. Thanks, dude. I'll see you back in class. Dang, all the teachers are gonna be like coming to him for tips now. Brush your shoulders off, man. <laughs> She's gonna be smart. She's gonna be like running her own business right out of college, I swear. He's a better drummer than you. At least she has rhythm. Where are your sleeves? And what have you done to your hair? Uh, it's getting a little rebellious. It's not school uniform. You're the man. Thank you, Frankie. Parents Night is coming up, and I do expect everyone oh, to have a present. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. Oh, dang. Oh. <laughs> Did you put butter on that? Does that help? Turkey tray that were touched over onto the peanut butter and jelly tray. I know that you know that this is a severe problem. <laughs> what, the mixing of turkey and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Severe problem? Clear. Oh, good. Is security doing their job well? Don't get caught by anybody while you're gone. Oh great, she's gonna check the classroom, isn't she? Very clever. Oh, they're so busted. They're so busted. Blue. Blue, that's right. Wait, they have it pre-recorded? Columbus had three boats. The Nina. Gordon. The Pinta. Pinta, that's right. And Dang, they have this down. They have this down. That's good. Maria. <laughs> They're watching the cameras and everything, man. Pay your security well. He's gone. Flunk every last one of you. <laughs> That's like some Home Alone work or something. I thought this was uh, Battle of the Bands, not the uh, Mickey Mouse Club. Hey. Can you imagine being a loser rocker trash talking a kid? Mr. S. What's up? I don't think I can sing. No, you can. What's going on? What do you mean you can't sing? I don't feel good. Just let Alicia and Marta do it. No. Oh, no. What is it? Are you nervous? They're gonna laugh at me because I'm fat. You've got something everybody wants. You've got talent, girl. True. Hey, she's a big lady. She starts singing. Blows people's minds. Everybody wants to party with Aretha. You know who else has a weight issue? Me. But once I get up on stage, worship me. I'm sexy and chubby, man. <laughs> you want to diet? I like to eat. Is that such a crime? Look. The, you yeah. Rock your heart out. People are going to dig you, I swear. Show them what we got. What do you say? Okay. And can you imagine if real teachers were like this supportive, could like give a life lesson like this to all their students? That's more valuable than any math lessons, right? They're good to go. No, we're not. Freddie took off. Oh, what? Where? Some guys invited him out to their van. Oh, no. Freddie, you seen a little kid like yay hi? Who would invite their kid back to their van besides a total creep? Hey, Mr. Oh, what's going on here? Get out of that band this instant. Think you're pretty funny partying with an innocent little- Yeah, I know. Dude, we're, we're just chilling. Oh, don't give me that. He looks up to you, and you are setting an example for him. Start acting like a responsible adult! Yeah. For all of you guys, don't make me come back here. <laughs> oh, he genuinely cares. He really does at this point. He might not have at the beginning. Hanging out with some real rockers. Those aren't real rockers. They're posers. True. If you ever scare me like that again, so help me. I will- I will send a note home to your parents. Let's go. <laughs> That would probably scare him. Uh, auditions are over. You can't leave. You haven't heard our band. Sorry, the bill's full. We're already overbooked. What? No, no, no. You have to let them audition. Ready to go. Who are they? They're my band. Kids? Was it some kind of gimmick? They're awesome. Just listen. Look, thanks for coming back. No, no, no. They have to audition. You listen to me. These kids have worked their little fingers to the bone. You just sit down, shut up, and listen. Yes. Sheila, call security. Dang, really? They're not even going to get to... This is the gig, Summer. This was our Woodstock. You just listen to me? I have an idea. What? 
to start playing in front of them somehow? I'm taking them back to the hospital. If they practiced, they'd get into Battle of the Band. Trying to give them something to look forward to. Something to keep their spirits up. Ugh, look at them. Is this gonna work? They're terminal. Oh dang, oh dang. He's gonna get through. Wow, <laughs> this is this is a genius way to get in. What do they all have? It's a, uh, <clears throat> it's a rare blood disease. Stick it to Daman. <laughs> Stick it to Daman. <laughs> You're lucky, because it's hell. <laughs> oh my gosh, and they're all playing along too. <laughs> Look at him lying in the street. Don't celebrate, don't celebrate till you're out of sight. We're on the bill. <laughs> No, come on, guys. You're yeah. Dying, remember? <laughs> oh, wow. That was amazing. Give your manager a raise. You get an eight bucks and 50 gold stars. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some of that. Hey, see, she actually cares about the band, too. We have a name for the band. Hit me. Oh, that's the band name, School too. Of rock. It's perfect. I mean, come on. It's the title of the movie. School of rock and we shall teach rock and roll to the world school of rock the red alert it's mullins oh great great red alert everybody to your positions as if that could soundproof it but whatever <laughs> therefore e equals m c <laughs> Amazing timing, amazing timing. But Miss Lemon said she heard music coming from the classroom. No, not from this classroom. Absolutely not. Music? I haven't heard any music. You know what? Miss Lemons must be on crack, right, kids? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's that? Oh, no, is there an instrument out? Oh, shoot. We were learning in sing song. What are your methods? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, songs help you remember stuff. You don't mind if I just sit in? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on back this afternoon. It is the afternoon. I meant now. Continue with your method. What's he gonna do, man? There's no way he's prepared. What subject could he talk about he might know about enough to teach them? Math is a really cool thing, so get off your ass, let's do some math. <laughs> Math, math, math. Three minus four is negative one. That's right. <laughs> times a billion is six billion. <laughs> or is it forty-five more than what is the answer? Nine. No, it's eight. No, it's nine. <laughs> yes, I was testing you. It's nine. <laughs> the magic number. <laughs> Come on, amazing, amazing. Find your methods of teaching unusual. They're innovative. With Dr. Errol von Strassenberger. Bacon. <laughs> Burger Bacon. Oh, you don't know him? <laughs> he's, he's like. He has an amazing reputation, amazing. That's how I was appointed to the Presidential Council. Experimental Educationers. <laughs> Educationers. We're not interested in experiment. Stick to the curriculum. Some more about your philosophy. You want to go get some coffee with me? Yes, he does. Yeah, I really would. Well, even better than coffee, some beer. You're sure you don't have any coffee? Oh, she tried. Been to the side of town before. Dying to ask you something, Mr. Schneebly. What? Just call me Dewey. Dewey. Ned. Call me Ned. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Don't be so obvious, man. How does Horace Green compare to the other school? Oh, it's the best. the best. Good. You're just saying that. I'm not. Kids at other schools just have fun. There's no discipline. Best school I have ever teach at. I swear. I mean, that part is true, technically. <laughs> it's a little bit. The flattery's a little obvious now. <laughs> Stay right there. I'm going to go put on some music. This actress is good. Is she blowing on it? <laughs> the way she's drinking her beer is so perfect. <laughs> I love this song. Why? I know. Oh, oh man, I would love to take the kids to a concert. Enya, that kind of stuff. Will this work? You guys have a policy about field trip. Be educational? Would it be educational? A thousand percent educational. Maybe we can make an exception. Smooth, Dewey. Hold you to that. 
I mean, can you imagine the mood change that the average person has, like, listening to their favorite song? You know, it does make a big difference. I can ask Would you, you stop got... that, please? <laughs> a really nice time. Yeah, ditto. First time any teacher has ever asked me to do anything outside of school. Oh, wow. It's, it's true. Maybe they're all scared of her. Six years. Dang. I think it might just be one of those things, a little intimidated. I bet. They hate me. No. No. They sure do. I can see. I wasn't always like this, you know. There was a time when I was fun. Funny. I was. Principal of a prep school. No, you cannot. She's under a lot of pressure. Kids, these parents, they have no sense of humor. True, right? And if anything goes wrong, it's my head. I can't make a mistake. I gotta be perfect. Turn me into one thing that I never wanted to be. No, you're yeah. not. Yes, I am. I think you're pretty cool. Really? Hmm. Yeah, you're way cool. Really? I mean, I think he genuinely thinks more of her now that he sees this side to her, like I do as well. Stress, what do you think? <laughs> what? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> and it's fabulous. <laughs> style? You're gonna talk to me about style? You can't even dress yourself. Look at that bow tie. <laughs> I give up. They could just wear their uniform. That's not a bad idea. You wrote a song? Well, let's hear it. It's not that good. Wanna hear it, Kurt Cobain? Baby, we were making straight A like I've been hypnotized. That's pretty good, you know? You wrote that. That's it. You guys rock and roll position. What am I doing? We're gonna learn your song. But why? Look at that. That's what bands do, man. Play each other's songs. You got lyric? No more secret songs. <laughs> ooh la la la, ooh la la la. Try that at the chorus. Okay? One, two, three, four. I mean, now they're a real band when they're at this point. Come on. You should be proud of how you've taught your students, man. Tomorrow's the big day. No late night parties, drinking tequila, and trying to get lucky. <laughs> I don't think you'll have a problem with them. I am proud of every last stinking one of you. We may fall on our face. If we do, we will fall with dignity. The guitar in our hands and rock in our heart. Words of ACDC. We roll tonight to the guitar bite. For those about to rock, I salute you. remind you about our little field trip tomorrow. What field trip? No, she remembers, right? I forgot about that. Very difficult to get around in this situation. But Oh, dang. You said we could make an exception. And the but the preparations, there's not enough oh, time. Oh, come on, really? Where is it? I've got it all covered. I'm stressed out because it's parents' night. It's all gonna be fine. Will it be? Ned? Would you mind coming with me tonight? Be a date or anything like that. It's just that sounds so great, Roz, but come on, go with her. I wasn't planning on going tonight. Teacher, you have to give the presentation. Yeah, no, I, I got you. I'm ready for that. Are you? Clearly not. What are you all dressed up for? I got a hot date. That's weird. I got a check from Horace Green Prep for $1,200. Oh, no, that's his. We never even worked there. Don't call. Stop him. Call him the school. Stop him. Ed Schneebly. Um, is he gonna come clean right now? 15 times, make it out to cash! Dewey, I did something bad, man. Oh, he's gonna be clean, okay. Admit everything. That I was you just to make some money, but then I got there and the kids, they rock, man! Literally. Not cool, but now it's like... <laughs> she thought she was too fat to sing, so they were all dying of this rare blood disease. And now we're playing tomorrow Battle of the Band! That was a great little summary of the plot, by the way. Now I will come clean. I'll tell everyone it's my fault one day! Don't say anything to her. Please. Yeah, don't, don't. Tara Silverman will not be okay with this at all. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. We weren't talking about anything. Nothing at all. A hot date. That's what's going on. She could tell. <laughs> I love how I covered that up with a wave. That's nice. What's going on, Ned? Nothing, nothing, nothing. He can't keep a secret at all. He can't. Oh, oh the truth is going to come out. What's wrong? Roz, I'm not a teacher. What? Oh, Ned. A substitute is a teacher? No, no, I'm not. Don't admit the truth. Don't admit the truth to her. You're not. You're a dedicated, talented teacher. Get in there and tell those parents what you've been teaching their kids. You know, uh, math, English. Oh my gosh. Look at the parents' faces. Latin, Spanish, French, Latin. <laughs> uh, anyway, you know, just all. 
all the stuff you want your kids to know, <laughs> it's been covered. It was great to meet y'all. And uh, <laughs> Yeah, the parents are just going to walk away smiling, sure. I started teaching here. All my son can talk about is music. He wants to be a musician. How is this? Homework? It is. I would like to tell you about what we've been doing in here. There's such a thing as teacher-student confidentiality. There is? Education law, because I could be dismembered by the teacher. Dismembered? <laughs> to believe this garbage? Don't you think you should just tell them about the project? What? Oh no, oh no. Every school in the state is competing. Not so next quarter, but oh, Mr. Great. S wanted us to get Well, what's a project, Summer? Don't tell them. Might as well tell them, Mr. Schneebly. You've gotten to know your kids over the past few weeks, and they are awesome. Genius! Special light show on his computer in three days. That is impressive. And, and, uh, uh. Oh no. Uh, they told him everything. To be the first woman president of the United States of America. I believe that. Run later this year even, and I would vote for <laughs> And I am proud just to even know them. Can I see you in the hall for a moment? Dang it. What's happening, officer? That man is not Ned Schneebly. What? These this parents are Schneebly. going to yeah, be he's... furious with the school. She did. She got it out of me. Of course she did. You're apologizing to him? Sorry. And to you. Who are you? Not a licensed teacher, but I have been touched by your kids. And I'm pretty sure I've touched them. <laughs> Not exactly the best way to phrase it, right? Can you outrun the cops? I'm gonna apologize? You're the you're one who's gonna apologize for because calling the cops! Shut, you... shut up! Shut up! I'm sorry, dude. I was desperate. It's easy for you to give up music. It ain't easy for me. It wasn't easy for me miss it then why'd you give it up i couldn't keep kidding myself anymore hmm. in the end we just weren't that good maybe you're right maybe i suck music is my life man what do you want me to do yeah how do you just give up on something like that i think it's time you moved out dang sorry i think that's coming from him too i don't even think that's coming from his girlfriend he wanted us to play a show so we can make some money i can't believe it we wasn't just about the money anymore he had a three-week vacation it was a lot better than school it was not a waste of time yeah it wasn't yeah that's what it was you're an idiot yeah go huh hey if you touch him i shove those sticks down your throat mr s was cool we were too long and too hard not to play this show yeah so what are we supposed to do i say we get out of here and play the damn show Yes. Anyone walk off the street and teach here? I mean, $15,000. I mean, <laughs> you can understand why the teachers are, why the parents are mad. To feel your children are in a safe and secure environment. <laughs> I feel bad for her, honestly. We're all here for the field trip. Where's Mr. Schneebly? He didn't tell you? He's at his house. We need to go pick him up. Come on. <laughs> Spoken with authority. Uh-oh, where did everybody go? We want some now! Come back in here! I mean, I don't know how she's going to keep her job, poor principal. Oh, it's just too much. Mm -mm. Off. Oh, how hungover is he? Why aren't you guys in school? We did what you told us. We stuck it to the man. <sighs> I'm a loser, okay? Oh. I guess you'll end up like me with nothing. Look out the window. <laughs> Come on, you have to go. You have to. That is so punk rock. It is. <laughs> Step aside. <laughs> What's going on? We've got some rocking to do. <laughs> Let's rock! <laughs> Better get to the show quick before the parents get there. Sorry, but I used you guys. Sorry, I lied. Come on, we're gonna be late. There's no time for apology. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's cool though. He apologized to them. Like I like how he dresses the kids. Doesn't treat them like kids, you know? So typical Ned. When are you gonna stop being a pushover? Finally gonna start sticking up for yourself. <laughs> Right now, right now, Ned, way to go. All of your children are missing. <laughs> so <laughs> Said with a smile. <laughs> She's past her breaking point. Here, you're late, you're up next. Okay, we'll be ready, come on. <laughs> that dude's so stressed out. You guys, I ain't that good, but you, dude, you're 10 years old, you're already better than me. Your song rock, let's play it. That's so cool for him to say that. This ain't my band, it's our band. We didn't come here to win, we came here to play one great show. God of Rock, thank you for this chance to kick ass. <laughs> now let's get out there and melt some faces! Yeah! <laughs> All right, but you gotta sing it. What about the lights? You're just gonna have to feel it, you gotta improvise, and you know the song, I know you can do it! Way to inspire everyone with faith, you know? We wanted to go with uniform, so put it on, quick. 
Do it. Oh, slow down, old man. My son is Where's your ticket? My son is Where's your ticket? How old he is? You're not getting past me without a ticket. I'm just not here to see the show. <laughs> All right, maybe we should just get tickets. <laughs> All right, let's get tickets. Good, it's gonna help the show. <laughs> No heckling, let them perform. We're the School of Rock, and this song was written back Mooneyham. Come on, this looks legit. Hey, is that really Jack Black playing? That is good. I mean, they should be proud. I mean, nice work with the lighting, too, bro. One-handed, bro. Will that be enough so he doesn't get in too much trouble? Oh, they catch him. They catch him. What a change from the opening of the movie. You earned this moment, bro. They destroyed it. They for sure are gonna win this, right? I am principal of the school's band. All right? All right? All right? Oh, my God, okay. But you're not mad? Mad! I, I can't. Furious! <laughs> you did it, man. Those lights are awesome. They were amazing. Who's the right. manager? I am. Summer Hathaway. <laughs> Yeah, don't even think you're gonna sign them. She owns them. Ten? No way, dude. How long have you been playing? Play classical, but now I play rock. <laughs> Look how cool all of them are. No. No. Walk away. I am the principal. <laughs> what is this guy school? doing, man? <laughs> cool. Yes, it is. Very cool. Very cool. I like that. Do you? Yes. Yeah, you're hot. <laughs> what? Huh? I'm sorry. What? Are you warm? <laughs> Is she really confused? <laughs> the moment of truth. The winner. Is it going to be Rocky or are they actually going to win? No! Vacancy! Really? How could they actually have won? They weren't even listening to the music! Yeah. What? What the fuck? Yeah, honestly, I feel like the, none of the crowd agrees with this choice. Present this check for $20,000 for vacancy! It's the one guy who loves them. <laughs> you hear we lost not the man get you down but you gotta cheer up we played a kick-ass show that's true we did didn't we it was unbelievable wasn't it yeah the crowd is chanting for you guys who's the real winner i mean it sucks as dewey probably needs the money but <laughs> it's gotta suck for them though they're in different bands being chanted after they won it's an encore Wait, no, no, just the band. Okay, everybody, go! <laughs> oh, I thought we were gonna see the whole performance. As soon as I talk to the band, I'll get back to you. Then quit lowballing us. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay. He went legit. That's a C. All right, okay, you got that? look at this. He's getting involved in it again. I think you know, get it all. <laughs> Was he rushing or dragging? Sorry, I just had to. Lawrence on lead solo keyboard, go! It's so cool he's giving like each of them the spotlight, you know? Nice. Don't bogart the mic, Alicia. That was beautiful. <laughs> Blow my brains out, go! Movie is over! <laughs> we're still on screen! <laughs> <laughs> This is a better example of breaking the fourth wall, honestly. All right, so that is The School of Rock. I love that movie. That was a ton of fun. I mean, just a great overall story. I have to praise Jack Black, obviously. I think this is truly probably my favorite performance of his that I've ever seen, and definitely a role that I don't think I can imagine any other actor doing even half as well as he did in this movie. I mean, just the whole arc of his character was great, kind of starting off as this guy who's kind of this washed up rock singer trying to make it, you know, living off other people, you know, not making any money, just not in a great spot in his life. But what he did have from the very beginning was this genuine passion and love for rock and roll. And that 
you know, you could see from the first second with him on screen till the end of the movie. And that's kind of what carried him through. Obviously, he took the job initially as this substitute teacher just because he needed some money and then later thought he could use the kids, you know, for that profit. But along the way, he found some serious purpose. And more than that, like he learned to care about the kids. He learned to share some lessons with the kids. And by the end of the movie, you could really tell that he was no longer concerned with being that center of attention, with getting that validation or that glory moment for himself. Everything was really being done so that the kids were the focus, so that this could be their moment. And just the ability for him to do that and seeing his character and the energy he had, the humor that he had, just everything about the performance was literally perfect. Like, no critique at all. Jack Black carried the movie on his shoulders, not to mention the actual talent that he has doing the singing and the performing. Did he play all the guitar scenes? Because that's pretty impressive as well. I mean, I'm pretty sure he can play several instruments, but I didn't know he could play that well. Let's just put it that way. And then I think the kids in this movie were awesome too. I mean, we had a nice kind of variety of different personalities. And what I love is that not only do we get to see that, but we also get to see like what each of the kids is struggling with, you know, beyond the rock music and how by learning the rock music and kind of channeling things that they're struggling with in their own lives and overcoming it, like the music helped them to kind of learn that life lesson, which is one of the coolest things about something like music that is so powerful. You know, even any type of art, I feel like has that ability, but something as powerful as like rock music, you know, that is something that you can channel some of those things in life that really get you down. And for a kid to learn that lesson and have that type of outlet at such a young age is a huge lesson for them to take. And just so seeing that journey of the kids and as they learn from their experience with uh, Dewey as their substitute teacher, that was just a very satisfying thing and then of course it all led up to the battle of the bands and even though it was like a rocky moment they didn't win that doesn't matter because ultimately they had that moment i mean that day they'll remember for the rest of their lives dewey will remember it all the kids will remember it all the parents will remember it i mean there's some slight loss of realism there with how the parents would react. You know, police would be involved in real life, but that's not the tone of this movie, and that doesn't really take anything away from it. And by the end of the movie, the fact that he had the after-school program and kind of had a legit way to make money with his passion and also instill that passion, share that passion, and pass it on to a different generation, just all those things is such a heartwarming arc for his character. I also think standout side performance was the principal. I don't know what actress that is, but I thought she she just crushed her performance. I could easily see casting someone who was less talented in that role, and they could do that role just fine. Like, the movie would absolutely work. You could cast a lot of different actresses as long as they were just decent. They could play the role of, like, a principal who's uptight and stern but feels a lot of that pressure. But in her performance, she she made it feel so realistic, and in a couple of the scenes where she was really emotional, like the scene where she was talking about all the pressure of being a principal and having to get things right all the time and especially how she's like did you think I wanted to be like this you know didn't want to be fun and things like that I thought that her delivery and just her expression everything about that moment was so much more powerful and meaningful because of how good the performance was and then even her little celebration at the end you know like between her breaking down with all the parents like shouting at her I feel like she just reached this breaking point where she's just like smiling about it a little bit you know and then afterwards like celebrating with everybody just everything about the performance was so good and honestly made her a very likable kind of interesting side character on top of you know kind of the main stuff going on in the movie but really have no critiques for this movie I absolutely loved it had a blast start to finish. I'm so glad I watched it. I hope you guys enjoyed this too. You know, I think that it's it's really a movie that I think pretty much anybody can watch. You know, it's a movie you can watch with your family. It's a movie you can watch as a kid. It's a movie you can watch as an adult. If you've been a teacher, if you've been an artist, an aspiring artist, a rock and roll fan, it applies to a lot of different people. And I just think it was also very well made, very well paced, delivered perfectly. Really excellent movie. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. As always, the full and edited reaction is up on Patreon. Thank you to everyone who supports there. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.